Hello guys, welcome back to Terry How channel on YouTube. So in this video, we are going to talk about the microcontroller. So as I promised that I will do the, the video on how to code the microcontroller and also to get even further. So today we're just making a simple coding with here's the microcontroller, the 80151 microcontroller and you can see it have blinking the LED so there's two LED, the red and the yellow, so it keep blinking on and off, on and off with each other. And here's the code. So, I'm sorry, here's the code. The blinking too. So here's the code. So I'm going to do the coding. And after that, I will upload, I will show you how to upload, how to use the program, which program that we are going to use for writing a, a, the entire language and program and also what program that we are use what software that we are going to use to upload the entire code into the microcontroller so again this is not an Arduino but in the next video we will talk about how to get this one to communicate with ESP8266 Wi-Fi so again this is the code and there's a Here's the program and I mean the, the software that we use to write write down the entire code and we will, I also gonna show you how to extract the file hex files to take the hex file and upload into the microcontroller. So guy, you have to follow up this video and you will be able to write all the code and also know how to upload the code to the microcontroller as well so let's start with the code okay guys so we are going to get into the coding part right now so again I want to let you know that all the software that I'm used right now will I will be put it inside the description I will put a link inside the description in the description so that you go you can go ahead and download all the software and follow up my video so in order to make our video getting fast and efficiency, so I'm not going to write anything down, I'm not going to write a code from the beginning, but I will pass the code into the program and also the code I will, I also gonna put a link where you can find the code that I am using inside this video. So let's get started. So first of all, you must have the kill U vision software. So this is the software that you need to write that you need to use so this software is used for uh, writing a code or writing compile and even generate a hex file where you use the hex file to upload into the microcontroller so microcontroller use hex file to run the entire process so now what we are going to do is we open the kill you vision now here we are so I'm gonna close all of this project so that I can uh, making a new project for you okay so I'm gonna close all of this okay so we're gonna leave it here so once you have installed and open it so first of all you go to project and then you click on new uVision project so it was asking you where to save the project so I'm gonna put it inside uh, let's see desktop and then I generate a new create a new folder let's say first code first oh like just put it first like that so I'm um, click on open all right and then I save on it sorry guy everything is in Chinese but I try to translate into English as possible so here I click save I'm gonna put a name oh I forgot to put a name so I'm gonna put it as first as well and then I click save and now we are about to select what kind of microcontroller that we are writing that we are on the code for so in here I have the 89C51 it's a type of 80C51 as well so I'm gonna choose it to here legacy device database and then I'm gonna scroll down looking for here Altem oh no sorry I'm sorry Atmel the Atmel so this is the company that creating a microcontroller the AT51 controller so we're going to scroll and select for the AT here the AT89C51 so I'm gonna click OK 
And now they said copy startup A51 to project folder or not, then you just refuse it or say no, click on no. Now you have it. Here we have the target and inside the source group. So inside the source group, we are going to create a new C file. We click on new and then I'm going to pass. So here I have the C file. I mean, it's not a C file, just an empty file. So I'm going to pass all the code in here. So this is the code. So I'm going to explain one by one. So now let me explain you step by step first. So now after we have passed the code or, or after we have written down the code, Right on the code, we're gonna save it. So we're gonna click this button save and then save it like first, first dot C. It must, it has to be dot C because it is C language. So we, and then we save it into the same folder that we save our project and then we click on save. Now it's becoming a C project. So we're gonna compile it to, or maybe not, not yet compile. We're gonna add this file. So we, we have created this file, but we haven't yet added this file into our project. So we're going to click on this source group, right click on it, and choose add existing file to group source. So we're going to choose first.c, and then we got to click add. And then it's already inside, so just close it. And here we have the first. Okay, so now let's compile to check if there are any error. So here we're going to click on this one, translate. Okay, so, so there's no error. So how do we generate the, the uh, hex file for our microcontroller to read and process the entire job? So we're going to click on this button, option for target, click on it. And you're going to change this X tall to 12. I'm going to change it to 12 like that, like that. And then we're going to output in here, tape output, and create hex file. And then we click OK. So now we're done, and we're gonna after we compile, let's uh, build it. Let we build and generate the hex file. So we click on build. Okay, so it's running right now. So the next step is to open another software to upload it to the microcontroller. So in this part, I'm not gonna explain it yet, but I'm going to explain you what it's gonna do inside the code right here so here we have the include so we're gonna define the microcontroller the include rec 52.h so this, this is the header for the microcontroller and here we got the s bit p1 s bit p2 so what is this do this is the this is we are defining the pin for microcontroller to output what we want it to output so for example i, I use pin 1 and pin 2 to output the high and low voltage so that it could blink the LED so we're gonna use two LED one is the P2 and the P1 so P1 is just the uh, text that we are going to define it and P the capital P and one zero in here is actually the pin of the microcontroller so it follow up with P and this sign and zero for even more, you just put it like P1 or P110, P112, P13 or something like that. So this is what are we going to define the pin for output the... It's an output pin that we are going to define for our microcontroller. So here's delay. So delay in here, why delay in here is to delay the time for the LED to blink or the process to, to delay any process inside our microcontroller. So we're going to talk it later and now we're going to main. So while, okay, while one right here is mean that when our microcontroller is starting or having a power, then when the power source has been provided, then P1 in here, the pin number one, going to be one, which means in real in real life it means zero what I mean is that there is no uh, oh I'm sorry one in here it's mean there is a power on the pin so if you connect an LED the so I mean if the LED the 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 the, the positive pin of the LED connect to the the 5 volt voltage and the negative pin connect to the P1 and if it is 1 if it, if P1 is equal to 1 then the LED is not blink because 
both sides of the pin are high voltage, so it's not gonna blink. And then we're gonna delay it, so it's not gonna blink for a few moments. And then we put P1 into zero, which means the the negative side, the negative pin of the LED is all is connected to P1, and the P1 right now is zero, so it it gonna flow from from five voltage to zero, which means it uh, satisfy the the rule where the, the the electrical flow from positive to negative so that the LED is blink and then we delay and then we let it blink again for P2 the same process as the P1 and then we run it again and again we delay it and run it again and again and again non-stop and let's check for delay so delay in here is that we Define integer x and integer y and integer i and j. So this is this four integer is what we are going to define. So when x is equal to zero and x smaller than ten, then x plus plus. And then if y is equal to zero and y is smaller than one thousand, y is plus plus. So it generated one two three four five until the max value of this two. So it gonna delay to the max value of it. So I think you, I think you guys might getting with this part. I'm not, I'm not at really good at explaining this delaying point, but I think you guys might might got it because if you guys have already done the Arduino stuff, you might really found this really relevant. So this is how the delay work, and of course, if x again x is equal to 0 x smaller than 10 and x plus plus and then y equal and then one it's uh, x equal to 1 and then it start to run for y equal to 0 and then smaller than 100 and then 1000 and then y keep keep continue to plus and it run process again and again so it generate a time a, a permanent time that it could delay something so it just like just like time that we are generate for, to delay something like that guy I am really sorry for this part because I'm not really good at explaining the delay part so so I hope you guys getting this part so now you so again we defining the pin output pin and then we defining the delay to let it delay over time and then in the main part while one is mean that when the microcontroller is Put it online is connected to the power source and then the p1 gonna be one which is mean high voltage so led is not gonna blink and then it delay for a certain time and then p1 again start to be zero so it it gonna be a low voltage that our led will be start to lights up and then it delay again put p2 in one which mean it's gonna not gonna light up for P2 and then delay for not a certain time and then put P2 lighting up in LED. So again, this process will bling up again and again for both two LED non-stop. So I hope you guys getting all of this meaning and the code again I will put in to inside the description below so you can check and test it out yourself. And okay, so let's get to the upload part. So what? Are we going to use to upload? Well, there is a program, a certain, a, a certain software that used to upload the code into the microcontroller. So this one is the program. So we're going to open it. Okay. Now, it's it's all in Chinese, but I will try again. I will try to explain to you guys as much as possible. So here is the. Top one is gonna be the type of the microcontroller that we are using because there, the code is running writing for eighty nine C fifty one, but the 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 type of microcontroller we are use is not the eighty nine C fifty one. We can use any type of of eighty nine C fifty one because there are a lot of type of it. So you can use a eighty nine C fifty one. You can use eighty nine C fifty two RC or fifty one RC or something like that. But in this case, we are using the ASTC eighty nine C five one RC. So I gonna I will do another video to explain the different type of microcontroller to you guys. But now we are going to do the upload first. So once you have found your type, then we select the 
89C51 RC and then we're gonna select where the port that we are connect between the computer and the microcontroller so I have connect my microcontroller into my computer computer and then the port that it's gonna display is here the USB series CH340 COM13 so then I click on it and leave it there for the baud rate and then we're going to open the source file so where do we find our source file well you can find it for example now we're landing on desktop so go into your project folder first and inside the object you will find your hex file so click on it and open and then down here there's a button called download so we're gonna click on download but make sure that before you click on download your your microcontroller have to be turning on so now I have turned on and then I click on download so it will load up uh, might be some problem I'm gonna do it again okay oh, okay there's a problem in here wrong selection and let me open again first hex and then download okay so here is me that we are finishing download so I will do another I'm, so we are finished uploading right now and I also continue to do the video on about hardware part so it's just like the way I do the video for Arduino I'm gonna do the software part and then I'm gonna do the hardware part so let's get started on the hardware part okay guys so here we are on hardware part so after you have purchased this uh, development board there, there are gonna be any uh, driver that come with this development board so all you have to do now first is to plug in this board into your computer so I have plug in and then try to install the driver if there is any driver that pop up then you have to install it on but I'm sure it's gonna pop up and will allow you to install so once you have installed the driver and uh, what we are going to do is that we uh, open this software the upload software that I t just talking about a moment ago so we open this click on OK like that okay so a moment ago I explained how this work and how we uh, download the now let's see what are we gonna do so when we have uh, up open the folder the file that we are used to use for uploading then we're going to see in here we click so the process is that it, it's not open right now it's not turning on so we have to turn it on turn it on first and then we click on upload I'm gonna choose again choosing a file and then upload okay so now I have finished upload and here we have the blinking LED keep blinking so I hope you guys will learn something about this video and also this video is the first tutorial on microcontroller before we are getting started to how to get this one this microcontroller to communicate with our ESP8266 offline and online using MQTT protocol so I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe or like to get even more upcoming microcontroller and Arduino video and thank you again and bye